for all the things that you have achieved, when you're thinking about the, the day to day, what are some of these habits that have helped you to continuously drive forwards with these amazing ambitions and continue to achieve so much? That's another great question. And I would say, first of all, I really, really appreciate my time and I don't waste my time. So I work a lot and uh, my last day at Disney streaming services is next Thursday. So I'm still technically full-time employed. I am breaking the, I'm breaking the rules here, taking this podcast at three o'clock, but they're very flexible with me because I am a, a high achiever. So anyway, I didn't have a lot of time. I, I, have a, I have a company, I have a podcast, I have a full-time job. So that means no TV, none at all, like none. I don't watch TV. I don't watch Netflix unless it's like movie night with my boyfriend on the weekend. And like, it's like quality time like that. I don't really watch TV by myself or anything like that. I don't really mindlessly scroll on social media. If I'm on social media, I'm on a LinkedIn live or I'm hosting clubhouse or, you know, I'm responding to my fans. I'm not really, you know, wasting my time feeling jealous about other people and looking at other people's profiles. I think a lot of people waste time that way. And so I just really structure my time in a, in a, an effective way. So that's just one way that I get ahead. The other thing is like, I don't think too much about things. A lot of people are just like procrastinating all the time. I just shoot my shots. Like if I have an idea, I just shoot an email and see what happens. And I'm not afraid of rejection. So the worst thing that somebody could do is ignore me or say no, which happens all the time, but it's, it's a volume game. So if I email 30 people and four people say yes, like, great. I got four yeses and the other people, you know, they'll get back to me later or, you know, they'll at least remember me as an ambitious girl. And that's that. So it's, it's also just like just taking action and uh, not thinking about it too much and just seeing like how far it can go. Um, I'll give you an example of like this, like scrappiness, resource, resourcefulness. So I recently really grew my podcast because all the different podcast apps like Podcast Republic, Podbean, Podacy, so many of them have sponsored me recently. And it was because it's because I shot out an email that was basically templated to each one of these different podcast apps. And I introduced myself. I have, you know, 70K followers on LinkedIn, over 1 million views per month. I get 100K downloads on my podcast, like just gave them information about me. And I was just like, would you be willing to, you know, sponsor me? Um, in exchange for your paid ad feature on your app and I'll run a contest for you on LinkedIn, you know? So I got like free advertising from all these apps the past like six months just for doing commercial reads and running contests on LinkedIn. And like everyone said yes. And then I became like the hottest thing and landed the cover of podcast magazine all because one day I told my assistant, let's shoot out these 20 emails. Here's the copy. Let's go, you know? And then almost everyone said yes. And then I just became the hottest thing and outside of Apple. So that's the beauty of just being scrappy and not being afraid to ask uh, because asking is the only way you'll get what you want. And thank you for saying yes to this interview. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's exactly what I did. I was like, I, I have to ask, I have to ask. Yeah.